Millions of years ago, a huge space rocket hit Earth, causing the extinction of the dinosaurs. Now, advanced technology is revealing a new timeline and the likely origin of the asteroid. Are we in danger of another catastrophic collision? And can we survive? You'll be surprised at the astounding discoveries NASA astronomers have made. And now prepare to experience a catastrophe that completely wiped out life on Earth. 65 million years ago, a colossal asteroid slammed into the Gulf of Mexico, triggering a chain of catastrophic events, including falling rocks, wildfires, and tsunamis on the distant coast. Researchers have presented a detailed account of the tumultuous first day of the Cenozoic era in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. This detailed chronology was compiled using high-resolution photographs, microscopy, computed tomography, and magnetic measurements applied to layers of sediment recently recovered from Chicxulub, one of Earth's largest impact craters. And here's how it all started. About 65 million years ago in North America during the time of the dinosaurs, gazing into the night sky, one could spot what at first appeared to be a distant bright star. However, after observing the unusual light for an hour or two, it could be seen to grow brighter, but hardly move. However, it was not a star, but a huge asteroid, estimated to be between 11 and 80 kilometers wide, hurtling straight toward Earth at 72,420 kilometers per hour. A few hours later, the asteroid entered the Earth's atmosphere and headed straight for what is now the Yucatan Peninsula. At this incredible speed, the Earth's atmosphere behaved like water, Small celestial objects called meteors enter the atmosphere like pebbles thrown into a pond and lose speed rapidly at high altitudes. They burn up due to atmospheric friction and some large fragments make it to the Earth's surface. But the mountain-sized asteroid Chicxulub crashed into our atmosphere like a boulder into a puddle. It maintained its speed, piercing all 60 miles of the atmosphere in just three seconds. An asteroid passes over Central America, causing a powerful sonic boom that bursts eardrums on every continent. The dinosaurs, probably gripped by terror, scatter in all directions, unaware of the impending disaster. However, any creature close enough to observe the asteroid impact would have been instantly vaporized within minutes. In fact, with the exception of sea turtles and crocodiles, no four-legged animal weighing more than 25 kilograms would have survived. The rock falls so fast that the surrounding air does not have time to escape. Under extreme compression, the air heats up almost instantly to temperatures of thousands of degrees. Even before the asteroid hits, this compressed and superheated air vaporizes much of the shallow sea, covering the Yucatan. In milliseconds, the rock pierces through the remaining water and crashes into the rock. The asteroid impact puts so much pressure on the Earth that soil and rocks flow like liquids. This dynamic motion is reminiscent of the double splash that occurs when a cannonball falls into a pool. First, there is a widespread surge in all directions. And then, as the cavity formed by the asteroid bounces off the surface, there is a delayed vertical surge. The first earthen wall pushed outward at the point of impact reaches a staggering height of more than 32 kilometers. This impact crater practically tears through the Earth's mantle. As the cavity bounces back, creating a prolonged vertical surge, the Earth rises upward at over 1,600 kilometers per hour, exceeding the height of Mount Everest. Within minutes, this huge mass of debris collapsed completely in a series of secondary explosions leaving behind an embankment known as the crater's apex ring. At the same moment, the asteroid hits the Yucatan, exerting intense pressure on the rocks. This pressure instantly converts the kinetic energy of a 7.5 billion ton rock traveling at 16 kilometers per second into scalding heat. The Chicxulub impact releases an astounding amount of energy, one septillion, 300 sextillion kilojoules more than the energy of a billion atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima. The kinetic energy transferred by the asteroid to the soil, rocks, and air excites the molecules to temperatures well above the surface temperature of the sun. 
Under the extreme heat, electrons are ripped out of the atoms and the air is ionized, forming an expanded fireball of plasma, 10,000 degrees Celsius. This superheated plasma is further charged by vaporized rock ejected at hypersonic speeds. The rapid expansion of the highly heated air and the almost instantaneous transformation of the Earth into a gas combined with the shock wave to create a colossal pressure blast wave propagating outward at more than 1,600 kilometers per hour. If an asteroid of that magnitude were to hit the same place today, the blast wave would vaporize people in Texas, reach Devon, New York, and shatter windows in Buenos Aires. The Chicxulub impact echoes in the Earth like a bell, sending waves through the planet's crust at four kilometers per second. These waves subsequently cause earthquakes along continental rifts. Even if you were on the opposite side of the globe, you would feel the Earth shake 30 minutes later. The impact causes a tsunami the height of a skyscraper. The first tsunamis would hit the Gulf Coast within an hour, and waves 600 to 1,000 feet high would hit what is now Mexico and the southern United States, flooding areas dozens of miles inland. Waves caused by the tsunami impact temporarily alter the flow of rivers, rising up the channels and resembling 30-foot tidal booms. They crash down the east coast of the United States, reaching staggering heights of up to 600 feet. Six hours after impact, these tsunami walls reach their maximum height, hitting Europe, Africa, and the Mediterranean coast. 15 hours after the initial impact, the waves reach all shores of the planet. Depending on the terrain, the ocean sweeps away everything in its path and then pulls back into the sea when the waters finally recede. The aftermath is reminiscent of the apocalypse. More disasters lie ahead, however. The massive impact sends 25 trillion tons of Earth's matter flying along ballistic trajectories, some of it faster than the Earth's escape velocity. Some of the ejected rocks fell under the influence of the Earth's gravitational pull and went into orbit around the Sun, and some probably reached the Moon. However, most of the ejected debris within an hour returned to Earth. These glass-like fragments, known as tektites, ranged in size from bus-sized chunks to balls. They bombarded the Earth at speeds ranging from 160 to 320 kilometers per hour posing a deadly threat to all remaining dinosaurs, regardless of their location. These tektites, resembling fiery hail, did not have to directly hit the dinosaurs to be deadly. As they fell, they interacted with the atmosphere, creating enough thermal radiation to start fires across the planet. By some estimates, the cumulative heat from these returning embers turned the Earth into a red-hot oven. The fires destroyed most of the trees, which perhaps explains why only those bird species that nested on the ground survive. Among the few large land animals that escaped extinction, most had ways of escaping the intense heat. They could either burrow into the ground like small mammals, snakes, and lizards, or take refuge in water like crocodiles and turtles. Even if the unfortunate dinosaurs had been on the opposite side of the globe, they would still have had to seek shelter from the heat wave that had begun. Unfortunately for them, the Chicxulub collision occurred in an area teeming with oil and sulfur. The impact sent 100 billion tons of vaporized sulfur and 30,000 quadrillion gallons of water into the atmosphere, where they condensed into huge thunderclouds and fell as torrents of acid rain, acidifying the ocean. At high latitudes, snowstorms across the continent dump several feet of snow a day. However, this global sweat is relatively short-lived. In addition to water, the Chicxulub impact vaporizes and explosively ejects an amount of oil equivalent to 150 soccer stadiums from the rocks of the Yucatan. The oil condenses in the stratosphere, forming a dark layer of soot that covers the earth like a coat of black paint. Unlike the sulfur and smoke from forest fires, the carbon from this phenomenon circulates high above the cloud layer, preventing it from sinking to the surface. This creates another significant problem. The soot layer remains in the atmosphere, reducing the amount of sunlight reaching the Earth's surface by 90% for at least three years. After the initial sizzling heating caused by the return of the tektites, there is a prolonged freeze-up. 
global temperatures will drop by almost 50 degrees Celsius. The only regions on Earth that were not affected by such a sharp cooling are Madagascar, India, and Indonesia, which were tropical islands during this cold period. Evaporation virtually ceased, resulting in an 80% reduction in precipitation. Virtually every place on Earth, with the exception of tropical islands, becomes a desert. Where did this giant rock come from? And could there be another asteroid on a collision course with Earth? Researchers, using a supercomputer and drawing on data on known asteroids, have conducted a study of asteroid evolution. The two-person team, Avi Lub and Amir Sarraje, hypothesized that the asteroid Chicxulub likely originated from the Oort cloud, a sphere of debris at the edge of the solar system. It may have once been a much larger comet whose trajectory was altered by Jupiter's gravitational field, causing it to approach the Sun and split into several pieces. These fragments can cross the Earth's orbit and fall to the planet about every 250 to 730 million years. Based on these studies, we can conclude that the question is not whether we will encounter another large asteroid from space, but when it will happen. On Saturday, December 11, 2021, NASA reported that a 330-meter asteroid called 4,660 Narrows passed relatively close to Earth at a distance of about 3.8 million kilometers, moving at a speed of 6.5 kilometers per second. That's very close. Even a slight change in its orbit could put it on a direct collision course with Earth in the future. Astronomers are closely monitoring this potentially dangerous asteroid and predict that it will pass within 1.1 million kilometers of Earth on Valentine's Day in 2060. So you should plan your romantic acts in advance, just in case. Unfortunately, there is no known way to protect Earth from a large space rock. One possible option would be the use of nuclear weapons. If you have innovative ideas to prevent a catastrophic asteroid collision, you may be recognized. Feel free to share your thoughts and stay tuned for more interesting developments in our universe. Thanks for watching.